look at. The Nike Times Off-White, Air Force One Mid. Of course, it comes in this cool red brick packaging. And up here, <coughs> see your Off-White logos in there. Paper. In there, I'm gonna take them out right now. All right, here they One down here. Let really me take a look at one here. Another uh, very unique artistic design from the late Virgil. This is my first pair of off whites. And I think it's a damn good one at that because of all the ones I've seen. I would have to say this is definitely up there as one of my favorite designs. So I had to get them. I had an opportunity to get them on the feature app. Hit on there. And so shout out to Pinky, aka Double Up B, for the heads up on that. Of course, you have your little mock track spikes here on the bottom. And they are mock track spikes, they're just soft. As you can see. Not real spikes. That'd be kind of crazy if they were. But yeah, so that's that's the deal there. If anybody was curious, they're just mock, not real. Put your off-white writing there that's become standard. On the inside, you just have face logo on this shoe, on the other shoe you have the hand. Of course your white laces are in the normal position and your gray laces have the now classic off-white wrap around the shoe, I guess you would say. The material on the shoe is very interesting. It's like a very luxe kind of material, very like a wedding dress, <laughs> like for real. It's like some kind of nylon-y wedding dress material almost. It's very luxe. It's hard to say what it is. Like I'm sure somebody knows and they'll mention it, but the top here is see-through. It's not like completely see-through, but you can tell that it's see-through when you shine some light through it. Pretty much how all the material is along here. Of course, your swooshes are plastic, clear plastic, stitched onto the shoe. Lace locks are pretty cool too. And pretty much the whole shoe is made of that material. Even the uh, even this area right here, even though it's not the same pattern. Gray material is the same kind of material. Tongue. Well, the other one here. Put them together again here. Sticking up a close pass on these here for you. Can really see that material there. the mock spikes. You can see. So yeah. Super cool. 
very botanical for my botanical garden. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get these for retail, I'm sure, unless somebody else is dropping them, I don't know. I was lucky that I got them for retail, which is a good thing because then I won't be so hesitant to wear them. Definitely gonna be rocking these. Speaking of rocking them, go ahead and take a look at them on feet. Be right back. All right, so here we go with the look on feet. These things are looking wild and crazy, man, I tell you. But super cool. And the, uh, oddly enough, the faux track spikes provide an extra bounce in your step. Give you a little, <laughs> little bounce in your step there. It's kind of neat. When you're walking, you can just, it's like an extra little, extra little cushion there. It's pretty cool. But yeah, man. Definitely some wild looking shoes right here. Super, super cool. I love wild looking shoes, as you all know. This fits right into the mix. Definitely, definitely cool. Very happy I got these. But yeah, there you go. Boom. All right, so we saw them on feet. And definitely wild and crazy on feet, which is obviously the idea and intent behind this artistic expression. Have those eyes go straight to those feet when you're walking down the road or wherever you may be. really dig them. Super cool. Very unique. And I do believe they said it was like the last, if not one of the last, designs that Virgil did before his passing, unfortunately. Maybe there's more hiding in the archives. We don't know. We'll find out. Some may know more than me. I don't know all that much about them. I just know that I really dig this. I'm happy I got it. So, yeah. Really cool. With that said, catch you all down the road.